very specific situations, there are terms to tell the position of an alkene in relation to other functional groups. When naming a molecule where the alkene is adjacent to another functional group, the alkene is termed vinyl. So here, the alkene is adjacent to the benzene ring, and thus the name is vinyl benzene. Now we will consider the situation where there is a tetrahedral sp3, if you like, carbon in between the alkene and the other functional group. Here, the alkene with the tetrahedral carbon attached is known as allyl. So the molecule here is allyl benzene. Vinyl and allyl are IUPAC terms. So vinyl benzene and allyl benzene are IUPAC names. Next, we'll look at an additional tetrahedral carbon in between the alkene and the other functional group. This molecule is called but-3-enyl benzene, not homoallyl benzene. Now, why would I say that? Well, instead of indicating the full name, let's describe the functional group. Here, we will replace benzene with a hydroxyl. If we applied what we've learned about the use of the term vinyl, we might describe this alcohol as being a vanillic alcohol. However, in this case, we don't say vanillic alcohol, we say enol. Now, what about the allyl analog? Well, here the extrapolation from the benzene case is valid, and one would describe this alcohol as an allylic alcohol. Adding an extra tetrahedral carbon to this system gives a homoallylic alcohol. Clearly, this homoallylic term doesn't extrapolate from the benzene scenario. So your head might be spinning by now, not knowing which way's up. But what should you take away from this? Well, make sure you understand the IUPAC method of naming. But I now hope you're aware that there are other, older methods that sometimes chemists use when naming a molecule. And you can recognize them if they should come up. Today, when it comes to naming, we sit in between logic and tradition. IUPAC will always be correct, but people may look at you oddly if there is a specific case that you name the IUPAC way, but has a commonly used traditional name. It doesn't mean the IUPAC name was wrong. It's only with experience that you get a sense of which case to use which method.